Well, welcome to How to Draw Things. We're going to learn how to draw toucan, which are awesome birds with huge beaks. You're going to need a dark blue marker, a black marker, an orange marker, obviously it's a toucan, brown marker, green marker, and overall a sense of adventure and a willingness to mess up a little bit. All right, get ready, grab your orange marker. We're going to start with the beak. All right, so you draw a long curve and then underneath it another long curve that goes into a point and then connect the two like that two can beak who knew it was that easy go ahead color your two can beak in we're almost done here I feel like I should have special music for when we're coloring Alright, get your black marker ready. And similar to how we did the parrot, start at the beak, go back down into a curve like that, and then we're going to actually have a diagonal line, and then connect the diagonal line with the curve to the bottom of the beak. Then draw a triangle for the tail. Start at the bottom and draw a curved wing coming up to the shoulder there. And then start at the top of the beak and draw a kind of a, almost like a half teardrop shape coming down to the chest. And then fill in that last part of the beak, the last little triangle with black. And draw a line really low down through the beak to show where the beak connects. And then don't forget the eyeball because toucans think they need to see things. And then go ahead, color in exactly where I color in here, because we're going to leave some parts. We're just going to color in this middle shape right now. If we just did the whole thing black, it would be technically correct, but it wouldn't look very, like, very much like a toucan. That's where we're going to use the dark blue. I like black markers, but they're always the ones that get used up first. You ever notice that? Black and red, they're always the ones that are first gone. Alright, get your orange marker again, and do just a little light orange outline around the eye. Be careful not to overlap the black too much, otherwise your markers will probably bleed together. And look, ugh. Now get your dark blue. It needs to be a pretty dark blue here. And go ahead color in that wing shape, and then we're going to color in the tail. Now what this does, instead of using black there, first of all it shows that there is a tail and there is a wing, but second of all it makes it look like the parrot is kind of lit differently. There's kind of this lighting on it that's reflecting off of it, because sometimes when black reflects it looks blue. Black can also reflect to look green. So that's pretty much our toucan, but now we're going to fill in some branches and stuff. So go ahead and grab your brown marker, and do a long curvy shape up to the toucan, and then continuing, and some curvy branches. You don't have to match me exactly, just kind of get the general gist of it, big curvy shapes. And then some big thick trees, so lots of curvy lines. And then instead of coloring the whole branch in, because that would take forever, Go ahead and draw some detail lines. This makes it look like a tree, but we didn't have to spend half an hour coloring the tree in. Plus, that would be too much marker on one paper. Go ahead and grab your green marker, and if you want to be really fancy, use lots of different shades of green. Draw some straight lines, and then kind of this scalloped edge. See how I do that? It's like curve, line, curve, line, curve, line. And then on the other side. And that's a big, giant leaf. I do another one. And when they're overlapping like this, that makes it look kind of a little bit fancier than if they're just all floating randomly. And you can even do it with a curved line in the middle. It doesn't always have to be straight. The line down the middle for the spine of the leaf, and then curvy scalloped lines around. It'll give you basically almost every leaf shape you could think of.
and I just kind of put them around randomly. You don't need to make it look absolutely perfect. You just need to give a feeling of the toucan being in a tree. And there you have it. You have a toucan in the forest. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you had fun with it. Uh, go ahead and send me a picture of your drawing and how to draw things. That would be really cool and I'll add it to my gallery. Uh, go ahead. Don't forget to click like on this video. Maybe share it. And definitely subscribe because we will draw lots more cool birds. I like birds. And bad puns. <laughs>